everyone, this is Stealth. I'm back to Motor Gear Solid. Haven't been in front of the camera in a while. I've been busy with other things, cosplay things. Look at that. I made a Robocop suit. That's what I've been busy with. Anyways, you guys probably saw my other videos. If you haven't, got a new bike. Honda Rebel 500, 2018. Haven't done much to it. I just put on an exhaust. If you want to hear what the exhaust sounds like, check out this video in the top right. You can see some footage of me riding it. Before I can do the work on this bike, I'm going to be doing a lot of things, so I need to lift the bike up, put it on stands, so I still have my Venom stands I got from Amazon. These are really good stands, uh, they're not too expensive, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get some. They're perfect for the Rebel, a lot of people don't think you can actually lift the Rebel with these. There's a little bit of a trick to it, and it doesn't help when you have the stock exhaust, so I guess I'm kind of lucky that I put the aftermarket, because this this has an up sweep. Actually helps lift the bike because you gotta get in there and the stock exhaust would go right here. So it'd be very difficult to get the mount for the lift stand under there with the stock exhaust. You'd have to just take the stock exhaust off. It's really easy to do. It's like two bolts, I think, and then you're good. You're gonna have to get the stand with these paddles. These things right here. And remember, when you're lifting the bike, if you need it wider, you just compress this spring and then once you lift the bike, it'll cradle onto the other one. Okay, so you can see right away, it's very difficult to fit. So once you pull this back, sit it under there, it should lock in. See? So you can see here, on this side, you would do the same thing. So as you lift the bike this way, it would start to rest on this but you may need to pull it back a bit too so you just kind of have to play around with it but it does work i've seen it on slight motos channel and that's where i got this tip from so you can see in that uh, demonstration when i was lifting the bike i made sure to pull the stand this way so this compressed completely making it wider while giving more space for this paddle, and I pulled this back just a little bit to help sit as I lifted the bike. So now we're gonna lift from the front end. You can see these rollers, they're gonna sit under the forks. I'm gonna sit here and here. That way you should take, be able to take off your tire and do any maintenance. Okay, make sure this, make sure this is pointing down, otherwise you're not gonna be able to take this off. The whole point is for you to be able to take the wheel off and do stuff. So remember, pull. Pull this back, the spring, same thing, like the back uh, stands, both sides, the rest there. So now the wheel can spin freely, and you can uh, you know, do the pinch bolt and move the axle and take the wheel off and do anything you need to do on the bike, change the tires. I'm going to have to, I'm doing this because i got to change these tires for next season. Remember, you cannot lift the front end without lifting the back end first. If you try to lift the front end first, it's gonna be a disaster and the bike will probably tip over. So be careful, always lift the back end first. These stands are good for if you're storing your bike in the winter and you don't wanna get flat spots on your tires. That way your tires are in good shape for next season. Just keep your bike elevated on these. That should be no problem. So if you wanna see more videos from me, your buddy Stealth, please like the video. Remember to subscribe to Motor Gear Solid. I'll be back soon with some more updates on the Rebel 500 and I uh, hope you guys check it out. See you later.